Is it the right time to make a decision about Apple stock? Let's find out. In this video, we'll delve into Apple. Our initial report was released on our website on Tuesday, December 26, 2023. Now, we bring you an even more comprehensive analysis. Make sure to stay up to date with our latest insights by subscribing, liking this video, and turning on the notification bell. Stay informed about any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Make better trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the potential of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 7, 2023, our system has identified Apple as a buy candidate, with a score of 3.32. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown a gain of 6.18%. This means it has achieved an average return of 0.18% per day since it was categorized as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating the possibility of further growth within this trend. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a potential 16.24% change over the next three months, with an expected return ranging from 11.68% to 21.20%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a projected 34.27% change over the next year, with an estimated return ranging from 21.52% to 38.78%. This implies a price range of $234.59 to $267.91 after one year. Our latest update on Apple reveals that the stock experienced a decline of 0.284% on Tuesday. On Tuesday, December 26, 2023, the Apple stock price decreased from $193.60 to $193.05, marking its fourth consecutive day of decline. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $192.83 and a high of $193.89, experiencing a 0.550% fluctuation. In the past 10 days, the price has fallen in six instances, accumulating a total decline of 0.07%. Interestingly, the trading volume decreased alongside the stock price, which is generally considered a positive indication as volume typically follows the stock. On the last trading day, volume decreased by 8 million shares, with a total of 28 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $5.33 billion. Over the course of the past 52 weeks, the highest price reached for Apple stock was $199.62, while the lowest price recorded was $124.17. Currently, the stock is trading at a price that is 3.29%, $6.57, below its 52-week high and 15.43%, $35.21, below its all-time high, which was achieved on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Today, I want to talk about analyst ratings for Apple Inc. On Monday, December 18, 2023, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. Moving on, on Thursday, December 14, 2023, Citigroup gave Apple a buy grade with a hold action. Similarly, on the same day, KeyBank gave Apple a sector weight grade with a hold action. Let's go back a bit. On Friday, November 24, 2023, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. Lastly, on Tuesday, November 21, 2023, KeyBank gave Apple a sector weight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Apple stock a strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of neutral. Today, we'll be discussing the signals for Apple stock. Currently, the short-term moving average suggests a sell signal, while the long-term average indicates a buy signal. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, we have a general buy signal, giving a positive forecast for the stock. 
As the stock continues to rise, it may face resistance from the short-term moving average, estimated at around $195.22. On the other hand, if the stock falls, it may find support from the long-term average, approximately at $190.92. Breaking through the short-term average will send a buy signal, while breaking through the long-term average will indicate a sell signal. It's important to note that some negative signals have also been observed, which may impact the stock's near-term development. One such signal was a sell signal issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, December 14, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 2.55%. It is expected to further decline until a new bottom pivot is identified. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Moreover, the decrease in volume alongside the price during the last trading day reduces overall risk, as volume should align with price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence signal indicates a selling trend. The pivot signal also indicates a selling trend, which occurred 8 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger signal suggests a buying trend, which occurred 7 days ago. The short-term moving average signal also indicates a selling trend, which occurred 7 days ago. However, the long-term moving average signal suggests a buying trend, which occurred 38 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and the long moving averages indicates a buying trend, which occurred 35 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see that the short moving average signal indicates a selling trend, which occurred 2 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average signal suggests a buying trend, which occurred 35 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and the long moving averages indicates a buying trend, which occurred 23 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. When it comes to support levels, Apple has found strong backing just below today's level at $181.82 and $176.65. These levels indicate areas where the stock has seen significant trading volume, suggesting potential stability. However, it's important to note that there is always a risk involved when a stock tests a support level. If this support is broken, Apple may then fall to the next support level, which in this case is around $181.82 and $176.65. Despite this, Apple tends to exhibit controlled movements and boasts good liquidity. As a result, the risk associated with this stock is considered relatively low. To put things into perspective, the stock had a modest $1.06 price range between its daily high and low, which translates to a mere 0.550% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock's average daily volatility has been around 1.13%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Apple, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as P-E ratio. This ratio is crucial as it measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. For Apple, the P-E ratio is relatively normal. This is often observed in businesses with a long track record or predictable revenues. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Apple's fourth quarter of 2023 is expected to be released on February 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this quarter's earnings are at $2.08. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some potential day trading levels for Apple. If Apple's stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level to keep an eye on is at $197.57. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before entering a position. However, for those who already own the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the flip side, if Apple's stock encounters a downward trend, the first support level to watch out for is at $181.82. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Apple has received a strong buy rating on average. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 29, 2023, 
Condo Crist sold 5,513 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. bought 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 17, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 10, 2023, Condo Crist sold 4,806 shares of common stock. The 100 most recent insider trades indicate a negative insider power ratio of minus 22.398. In these trades, insiders bought a total of 2,434,113 shares and sold 4,040,792 shares. For this stock, we recommend setting the stop loss at $184.01, which represents a decrease of 4.68%. This particular stock tends to have lower daily movements, making it a lower risk investment option. We have also noticed a sell signal from a pivot top that was identified 7 days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Based on several short-term signals and a positive overall trend, it appears that Apple stock may present a buying opportunity. Our analysis of the volatility and movements from the last trading day indicates that the current price is undervalued. For Wednesday, December 27, we anticipate Apple to open at $193.26, a gain of $0.207. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view on a particular stock. We value your opinion, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. We're curious to know your target for this stock as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Our team wishes you success in your trading journey and have a wonderful day.